Welcome to FusionWare Integration's application development demonstrations in our Nothing But .NET series. These application development demonstrations will try to show how easy it is to develop using almost any method against a multi-value database while maintaining best practices. We want to show that it shouldn't matter what sort of application you want to develop. You shouldn't have to keep finding a new way to get your data. Whether you want traditional WinForms, WebForms, or ASP.NET applications, Silverlight, or even Windows Presentation Foundation, you shouldn't have to keep redoing your work. Instead, using a pure managed provider like the MVLINKS managed provider, you can quickly and easily create a data access layer, or DAO, that does all the heavy lifting of multi-value data for you. Then it's just a matter of creating your applications using whatever presentation layer you want, or use them all. When you create your new presentation layer, no need to worry about the data at all. Focus on how it works and looks because the data is already taken care of. Add a web services layer, hardly any code at all, and you can include even non-Microsoft presentation layers like Android, iPhone, PHP, and many more. This series will show you how to make it happen for you, and happen quickly. We will begin with a standard Visual Basic class library project. This project will contain all our data access layer objects and code. With a data access layer class library, we can remove all need for knowledge of the multi-value database from the user interface development. It's really quite simple. After all, the FusionWare MVLINKS managed provider already creates standard strongly typed datasets. Because we want to write as little code as possible, we will add a component class that will allow us to automatically generate the strongly typed dataset that we need. It doesn't really matter what we name this component, as it won't be visible to calling applications. We can drag and drop the MVLINKS Managed Provider components, Data Adapter, Connection, and Command objects onto the component class just as we would if we were connecting to SQL Server instead of a multi-value database. The dialogues we use for defining our connection and command are the same as we use in SSIS and SSRS in earlier demos. The command text we use here is only used to define the strongly typed dataset. The actual contents of the dataset, the data, will be defined later in our data access layer code. Once we build the project, the dataset will appear in the tool list. By dropping that in our component class, we won't have to manually create the dataset definition. Once we have renamed our class to something that will make sense to our UI developer, we are ready to add our code. While for WinForms we don't need to do much special with the class definitions, we want to make sure that all our methods and classes are properly defined as data classes and methods. This will allow us to play nice with WebForms, Silverlight, and WPF applications. First, we have to import the MVLINKS Manage Provider Library along with the various system libraries we will need. Then we need to identify the Sales Order class as a data object as defined in the component model. After defining a couple of commonly used variables, the connection string and table name, we need to create our constructor subroutine that will take a connection string as a property. This will maximize our flexibility from our user interface application. All of the data retrieval work will be done by our private worker method. This routine will manage the connection to the multi-value database, the execution of the requested command, the filling of the data set, and the cleanup of all the above when completed. All our data methods will call this subroutine to generate the data set that will be returned. 
This code is not dissimilar to code we would create if this were a data access layer for SQL Server. In fact, with a connection string and command text passed as variables, other than the fact that we are using the MVLinks Managed Provider Data Adapter connection and command objects, there is no difference whatsoever. We could simply replace the MVLinks objects with SQL objects and the rest of the code would remain the same. Standard data methods include select, update, delete, and insert. For our application, we only need to create the select method. We are actually going to create three select methods. Again, we have to identify the public functions as a part of the component model. In this case, a data object method of type select. The first one is the default select method and will retrieve all items or rows in the sales order file. Note, all we do is call the worker function we created above while passing the plain table or file name into that function. Our next function will get all records from the sales order file that conform to a TCL or English select statement passed into the method. This select data object method is not the default method and must be literally called from the UI application, passing the select statement as the one parameter of this method. The last function will return only a single row based on an item ID or key passed as a single parameter. Each of the methods is very similar. They all formulate a simple command and call our private get sales order function. They all return a strongly typed dataset based on the dataset we created in the component class. That's it. Our read-only data access layer for the sales order file is complete. Now we can proceed with creating our WinForm application. Because our data access layer does all the work, we don't need to think much about multivalues the rest of the way. The WinForm application we will create is using the normal application template that ships with Visual Studio. We're creating this demonstration in Visual Basic. Please see our CTO blogs at www.fwic.net to see the C-sharp equivalent. Once we have referenced our data access layer, most of the work we need to do is all visually using drag and drop. Even the strongly typed data set is available to add to our WinForm application. First, we add our data set. We will bind it later to controls on the form. Our lookup program needs a text box to enter our query and a button to execute the query. We will be using the data grid view controls that ship with Visual Studio to display our data, but any data aware controls can be used. Any grid or just plain controls can be used from any third party or from Microsoft. The first grid will display all our single value attributes from the sales order table. The next grid will display the multi-valued attributes and lastly the sub-valued attributes or the deliveries will be in the third grid.
To save us even more code, we will use the binding source controls connected to our grids. This allows each grid to automatically interact with each other. The binding source controls, when configured correctly, automatically cause a cascading data effect. As the row pointer is moved in the first grid, each of the subsequent grids will automatically show their associated rows. Because we have a strongly typed data set already, the grid automatically knows which fields to display and how to display them. The binding source controls, provided with Visual Studio, make it easy to select each layer down in the multi-table data set. Now all we need to do is fill the data set with data using our data access layer, and we are done. So for our last steps, we need to import the sales order data access layer. We need to instantiate an object based on that data access layer class, passing in our connection string. Lastly, as part of the button click event, call one of the select methods in that data access layer. We will use the select data method that retrieves the data based on a TCL or English select command. We will rebind that data set to the binding source, and then for luck, we'll add an exception handling message box. If you wanted, you could put all the multi-value related code into the data access layer so the UI developer would never need to know anything about the underlying multi-value database. Our application is now complete, and it's time to run it. First, we'll try to retrieve just a single item from the sales order file to make sure everything is working properly. Now, to show off the link grids a bit, let's pull back multiple items. You can see, as we move around the primary grid, the records displayed in the other two grids change. The same thing happens if we go to the order lines grid. With the MVLINKS Managed Provider, you can create dynamic WinForm applications while using recommended best practices. There is no need to give up standard methodologies of development just because your underlying database is a bit different. The data source just doesn't matter. Our MVLINKS Managed Provider is designed to work across all .NET technologies. You can build a Windows application with VB.NET that uses Windows and third-party controls one day. The next, you can build a website in ASP.NET or Silverlight, or even a transformation with SQL Server integration services using the same connections, methods, and tools. Thank you for viewing our WinForms demonstration using the FusionWare MVLinks Managed Provider. No special tools were required, nothing but .NET.